Welcome to our next video from Howard Piano Industries. Um, in this video today we're going to be showing you how to adjust damper spoons. Um, as, as you can see in the video here we've got a real close-up look at uh, uh, the face of a hammer and a damper and we're going to show you how, um, how the uh, damper spoons should be adjusted. Uh, we have to be able to see that from how the action works uh, as, as um, from the view of looking at the hammer and the damper together. Now uh, the damper spoon is a piece uh, which we'll show you a little bit later here in a second in the video that's, um, that's something at the back of the whippin which is uh, underneath uh, the bottom part of the action um, but just to show you how the um, damper spoon should be adjusted and the way you can tell is to watch how close the hammer comes to the string before the damper starts to move. Okay basically you want the hammer to come halfway to the string with the key movement before the damper lifts. Okay, so as I press down the key, you're going to see I'm going to get to about halfway, and then if you watch the damper, which is this piece right here, okay, I'm going to get I'll get to about halfway, and that damper starts to move. Okay, so that's 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 where should it should be adjusted to. Okay, so you want the hammer to come about halfway, and you can even feel it in the key if you do it really really slowly. You feel the weight uh, change, okay? With as you uh, push down the key, you're going to feel the key get a little bit heavier as it as the spoon contacts the damper lever and then lifts the damper up off. Okay, so it happens real quick as you're playing the note, but if you do it really slowly, you can see that at about halfway it starts to lift that damper and that's where it should be adjusted to when you're going to. Now um, you can make slight adjustments from the standard uh, halfway um, you know if you if you make it if you make the damper lift a little bit earlier it's going to make the key feel like it's or the play the action feel it's like it's got a little bit heavier of a touch if you make the damper um, lift a little bit later then that's going to um, give the feeling of a lighter touch to the action. So, you know, again, you can make uh, slight adjustments. You can make it uh, uh, lift a little bit later or sooner, depending on if you want to make the action feel heavier or lighter. Uh, so, I mean, there are, there are other things that can uh, you can do to change the f touch weight or the feel of the of the action to be heavier or light, but um, you know, as you're adjusting these damper spoons, you know, the the basic premise is to do it about halfway, and that's that's where we're at right here. Okay, as we go into the next part of the video, we'll show you how to how to make that adjustment. Now, here we've got a view of the um, action of the piano, and it's inside the piano. But here, um, here's the note that we were looking at uh, from above before. Um, now you still aren't able to see the spoon, but here what I'm going to do is show you a, a whippin uh, that's got, uh, this is from an upright piano, so what that would be is put in this way. Of course this one's taller, the, this is a console piano, but uh, this up this whippin is for um, an upright piano, it's for a taller piano. But it would basically go in here, so this piece back here, this uh, thing right here, looks kind of like a spoon. That's a damper spoon, okay. And what that does is that that uh, the back of this right here, it uh, the back of this contacts the the back of the damper lever or the front of the damper lever as we're as we're facing the action. And um, what that does is that pushes the um, the damper lever up so or back so that it raises the damper from the string. Okay, so as the whip is lifted up. Um, that's going to make this go f go away from the player, the piano pianist, and that will push the damper lever so that the, it raises the damper. Okay, so basically, if we, if as we're adjusting this, if it goes back, if the top of this goes back away from the rest of the whippin, that's going to make the damper lift earlier. If we make it come forward toward us, that's going to make the damper lift. Um, later. Okay, so here we have a, a damper spoon bender. Okay, we've got we've got a couple different styles. We've got this one; it's a little bit shorter. Uh, you know, for ba for most uprights, uh, it works for console pianos. Uh, what I've had to do sometimes is is bend it a little bit because 
if it's um, you know if you've got short if you've got a sh if you've got a short action like we've got in most console pianos, if you put it back here, and you want to make the the damper spoon bend toward you, <clears throat> there's not a lot of room for the handle to go down. So now this is these are both this service is designed to go with um, the combination tool handle which we've got one here. Uh, so we'll put that in there. Uh, we've got a number of different combination tool handles. The other type of uh, damper spoon bender is this one here. This is the spinet damper spoon bender. It's longer because when you're working with a spinet action, you've got to go underneath the key bed um, uh, because the whole action is dropped down below the level of the keys. It's a little bit. It's quite a bit more difficult to to adjust spoons in a spinet piano, but uh, that's how it is with most things in a spinet piano. So. Um, so that one's longer, and this one does also work for the the upright and the console pianos. In fact, I think I feel like it works very well with the console actions as well because you've got a little bit longer length. Um, and again, you might have to bend it a little bit. Sometimes I'll bend this so it comes forward, <clears throat> so that my handle is up a little bit higher when I go to hook onto my damper spoon. Okay, but what you're going to do. Um, and I'm going to sh show you here first in the piano is you're going to have to get the tool back here and you mostly do it by feel because you can't see the damper spoon but what you do is you hook onto the onto the damper spoon with this little slot right there okay and once you do that if you again if you want to push the um, damper spoon away from you to make the damper lift earlier you're going to lift lift on the handle okay and if you want it to uh, if you want the dampers to lift later then you're going to push down on the handle which is going to make this damper spoon bend towards you okay and I'll show you here um, on the whipping so you can actually see so what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to hook you know, actually usually come in from below it and then hook on to the the damper spoon like so and then again if you want it to lift earlier you're going to lift the tool which is going to bend and you can probably see that it's just going to be little tiny amounts that you're going to move it but but you can see that damper spoon bending just a little bit okay here I'm moving it toward me but if I lift it it'll move it away and if I push it down, it'll move it toward me. So that's um, that's the basic way of uh, adjusting it. Uh, much easier said than done. Like I said, it is it's difficult to get the feel of uh, going in and finding that damper spoon with your tool. Once you've done it a few times and get used to it, it's not so bad. But uh, uh, it's it's a little bit difficult. If you've got a little bit taller piano than a console or a spinet piano, it's it's a little bit easier. But um, you know, again, it's just getting the feel of it. But that's the basics of how you um, you make the adjustments uh, to the damper spoons, which affect the timing of uh, of when the damper lifts with the with the uh, with the key movement. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to visit our website. We've got a forum where you can ask questions. Um, but otherwise, our website is howardpianoindustries.com.